Prepare yourselves for battle, hero. Are you? I don't know what you're talking about, mortal. Oh, welcome back to another episode of Running in Circles. I'm going to stick with that. I really like that. So today we're in Storm League. Oh my god, I'm sure that's really loud. Uh, and we are playing some Jaina because uh, of all the times that I have seen Jaina played, she is incredibly consistent and I think that she's a, she's a very... We're just going to move this out of the way because I'm sure that there's some dumb shit going on, but I had some people blocked in this game. So, the fact that I can see it after the fact is a little disconcerting. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Jaina. Oh yeah, teams. Garrosh Anduin, Thrall, Sylvanas, Jaina versus Zul'jin, Rhaegar, Hanzo, ETC, and Tychus. Looking for the first big kill of the game here with the ETC with this tiny little health bar. Oh my, one more auto attack would have sealed the deal, but he's going to get away. And we've got our Thrall and our Syl Sylvanas in the bottom lane. Nobody is top yet. Uh, someone needs to go, so I guess it'll be me. The coolest thing I feel like about Jaina is that on top of all the damage she can do, she can literally kill an entire minion wave with one ability. You just gotta be a tiny bit patient about it. Bing. The other thing that you need to do with Jaina, though, uh, which is one of the big reasons you don't want her in this lane by herself is stack her ice block. So I've only got 1,700 out of 15,000 done, and I need to get that done quick so I can block all sorts of ridiculous damage from people who want to kill me. Um, and it looks like my team isn't uh, really concerned about me hitting that goal. So what I'm going to end up doing is just throwing down a blizzard, killing the minions, Getting the globe, possibly? Yeah, there we go. Getting the XP, and then since the wave is pushed completely into the gate, I'm gonna go look for a roam, try to get some chill damage, and stack some quest. Um, what I am doing in this go round that I uh, I have yet to do in quick match with Jaina is try out her Blizzard build. Ooh, is that gonna be a big one? It is. Like it happening doing stuff way to go team um but I uh, typically when I play Jaina I play uh, uh, the standard build I don't know if it's a standard build but it, it doesn't necessarily have a name because there's just talents all over the place but uh, typically you'll take the Q build you'll take uh, a combination of you know e talents with uh, mana return or you'll take this fancy new Blizzard build, which is a thing as of the most recent patch. I didn't want to take, um, what the hell is that? Uh, Fingers of Frost. Getting some big damage. Got him with the Chain Lightning. Um, I didn't want to take Fingers of Frost at level 1, even though the spell power is nice. I want to be able to hit people from real far away. Uh, with my Q, with my Frostbolt. So, actually, I think... Yeah, no, I, I did build Blizzard in this game. Because I wanted it for the Shrine control. Um, not that we're going to have any trouble with this. Got him. Maybe? He's dead. He had a dot. He's going down. I walked into that Rhaegar totally by mistake, and he... Probably could have killed me if he auto attacked me a few more times. But, hey man, if he's gonna let me go, I'm not gonna argue. I am gonna put my abilities on this wave because I don't want the shaman doing anything more than it has already done. We'll go deal with the shrine fight in just a second. Sylvanas just super hard pushing in the bottom lane. Check her out, getting that whole thing. I'm trying to find the camera can't they, nope that's not it there it is we're number one I gotta remember that so Sylvanas got that full fort in the bottom lane enemy team is not even level seven yet they appear to have given up completely on the shrine 
in an effort to soak back up some sort of balance, I guess? Uh, Garrosh was hanging out in that bush for so long because that's probably what he should be doing as a tank. You want to make sure that your team has vision and that you can get some stuff CC'd if it comes in on you. So kudos to that guy for standing there for so long, being so patient. Now he's going to go down to the middle lane and soak experience there. Look at that. Isn't that just, isn't that just a team player? Don't you just love to see that? There go the minions. Jaina does not have the fastest shrine clear, but she can chunk those bad boys if they grew up, group up like a motherfucker. It's a little bit late on the blizzard, but that's okay. We're still gonna get the kill because Garrosh is gonna go round the back, round the outside, round the outside. Throwing the Thrall in, not getting much. The Frozen Punisher, though, doing a fantastic job turning buildings off so we can just poke and poke and poke and poke. Pretty cool. Um, one of the other cool things about Jaina, her Q build, um, if you're playing into a Hanzo or any amount of team that um, can sit further back, you can play shooties with them. Oh, buddy. I don't have any cooldowns, but... You're dead just the same. Uh, because the level one uh, talent for Frostbolt is an extremely long ranged increase. So like, let's see, how far away is he? Can we hit him? Got him. Did you fucking see how far that went? Crazy. Ooh. That cleansed though. We're trying to get the keep. It's a really early keep. We've got mercs in both our bottom and middle lane. But we're going for it. If they're not 10, we are. We want to make sure they know who's boss. Get the early advantage. And we've got it. Now, those catapults are going to suck for a very long time. But once the game rolls around a little bit later, we'll get a bit more advantage uh, out of them. Uh, not to mention the passive XP gain from both the buildings in that lane. Anyway, uh, back to the build, because I've missed a few talents, but we took Arcane Intellect at four, which is going to give us mana back anytime that we hit a chill to target with an ability or an auto attack. Five for autos and um, 20 for abilities. And then at seven, we took Ice Fury one. Oh my god! Only got the Zul'jin. Gonna die to the auto from the Hanzo. Real sad day for me. Did get the Zul'jin though. Even though he had his ult popped, he was rooted in place and there was no way for him to get out. Come on, team. That's okay. We have still got plenty of advantage on all other sides of the map. And apparently we want to put some pressure down in the middle too. So there's only so much that the enemy team's gonna be able to do to stop us because they still are down to one full level. And I'm back. You'll notice that I've only got 5,000 damage stacked on my quest. But, well, we're doing third on our team. Probably get about even between all of us damage dealers because we do most of it in bursts, especially from the garage tosses. He's just gonna rip it and then everybody else is going to be like, here's my damage! Did he die? Yes! We got it! It does take a very long time to do that camp. I'm not, not going to lie to you. Uh, siege giants are super easy. Even the siege goats are super easy. That camp in particular is really, 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 really difficult to take fast with Jaina. But anyway... We've got the lane pushing still. This is actually pushing onto the core with all these minions and catapults and stuff. Uh, level 13, we are going to take Stormfront, which is going to increase the blizzard radius and range. Isn't that huge? Look at how big it is. That's what she said. Damn. Popping people left and right. Getting those minions possessed. I'm going to activate the shrine. Enemy team took the top camp for some reason. And now that our blizzard is huge, we're going to get a little more minion traction out of that bad boy, right? We're going to pick up some more shrine 
<laughs> Guys. It's cool. Uh, we're still not doing this fast, because once our our abilities are on cooldown, that's kind of it. Like, we gotta wait a real long time, because the Ice Fury Lance only recharges the cooldown of Blizzard when you hit heroes. And then, uh, you know, obviously our Q and our E are not insignificant cooldowns either. Enemy team trying to do... I can only imagine... I don't know. Did he just stage dive in? He did. There's the arrow completely whiffing on everyone, and we have got the Punisher. <laughs> I wonder what their plan was there. Maybe they're trying to soak 13? Uh, maybe that's the thing. Sylvanas with her activated trait going on. Looks like Punisher's gonna get ready to jump soon. I still have not gotten any more damage on my quest. Which is cool. Whatever. There's the jump. Immediately cleansed to get him out of there. That's how you do it. If your tank doesn't have a way to, to unstoppable, you gotta make him unstoppable. But at the same time, our team is so good at sieging that uh, we don't really care about the Punisher. It can punch as many people as it wants to, as long as it distracts everybody from killing us. It's almost dead. Looks like it is down. Sylvanas is in. Got the ETC with the Sundering. Let's drop a blizzard? We're gonna drop a blizzard? We're not gonna drop a blizzard? There it is. On the building. Gonna follow it up with some extra damage. Didn't even have time to achieve maximum ice block because that game ended so freaking fast. I don't know why it was so quick. It was a Diamond 2 game, I think. Diamond 1 or 2, I can't remember. Uh, and there were a couple master players in there, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I got Guardian Slayer because that was my whole job that game. But... Here are the talents. Um, yeah, we didn't do super. But we also only died one time, as opposed to this guy's six. And <sighs> they got one kill. I was the only death. I'm terrible. Here's the talents. Level one, Winter's Reach. And then there is Arcane Intellect. Ice Fury Wand, seven. Ring of Frost, ten. Thirteen is Stormfront. Sixteen... Oh boy. Uh, oh yeah, there is a... I, can't, I don't know what the talent's called, but every wave of Blizzard does more damage. Like the first... The second wave does 20% more, and then the third wave does 60% more? I can't remember if that's how it works. And then at level 20, probably would have taken Ice Blink or... No, he took Ring of Frost, so definitely Ice Blink. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know it was short, but I hope you enjoyed it and have yourself a